I'm just going to do a uh, demonstration of removing the keyboard from an HP 15-1233WM. And we'll see how this goes, okay? I could not find any videos online. Now the only tools you need for this are, is a computer screwdriver. It has a small Phillips on one end and a flathead on the other side. Uh, this is an alloy from the 60s, so you can see how long I've had it. Now, uh, your laptop, of course, you want it powered off. And then we're going to remove the battery. So we don't have any electrical sparks. Set that aside. Now, if you're not sure what one you have, what model, that was my problem. Right on the back side here, there is a model 15-1233WM. I could not find those online anywhere, so or any direct reference to it. But uh, this is only about two and a half years old. So let's get with it. On the back side, this was what was confusing looking online, is where the keyboard detach was. Some of them, there's two. I could not find this one, but on this spot, it's right located here, and there's a little bitty keyboard imprintation right there. So all we're going to do is take that screw out. And don't want to lose this screw. You're probably not going to get a replacement easily, although maybe a radius computer store might have one. So we've got the keyboard screw out, so our keyboard will come out. Then open up your laptop, and using that flathead portion, we're going to go down into one of the corners. And, or you could start about anywhere, and just get under there and pry it a little bit. Maybe put your fingernail under there. And we're just gonna go around and pry this thing off. And you'll hear it pop a little bit. Don't worry, it's just clips. Just don't get too rough with it. And we're going to go around and take this keyboard out. It'll just pop out as you go around. Okay, so I won't bore you with that. Let's get it taken out and I'll show you what comes up next. Well, that only takes a minute and I wanted to also point out down here on the bottom of the keyboard there's some tabs. They're a little larger. If you take those out the rest of it pops out pretty easily. Okay, so we're going to turn this over easily and this already came out but this is your controller uh, band to go inside Right there on that little white strip. Let's see if I can get it down in there and show you a little better. There's a plug right here. Now there is a black strip that moves back and forth. It doesn't attach very well, but when it's pulled away, this strap will go down the other quite easily. Having just a little bit of problem here doing this and showing you. So it literally slides underneath the white tab. It'll go into place. You have to wiggle a little bit. It'll go in and then push that black tab if it will stay. Mine didn't want to stay before, but it worked fine. Okay, so that's really how you take out your keyboard. Now on the keyboard uh, I originally got, let me grab that. Okay, got it here for you. There is a part number on this, um, on the ribbon cable, and it will say Primax P slash N, and then the number 2B-06901Q110. This is the original keyboard that came with the system. So what I did is spilt coffee on it, and uh, I may try seeing if I cleaned it out, I'm going to see if it'll work. But the new one that I ordered online is obviously a knockoff because there's no part number on this at all. Nothing on here. 
there is a NB008-B1 US and it does work. I mean, they're identical. They look the same. So all we're going to do is, with a replacement part, put that right back together exactly as we took it out. Yep, unfortunately, the, uh, the old one doesn't work. So that's all right. We're going to go ahead and slide this back under. You'll notice putting this back on when I fold this over, it's going to fold over that, that crease so that we don't have any bending. I'll change that angle a little bit. So we're just going to slide that in right there and when we fold over, it literally folds that way. So when you take it off, if it's not detached, go ahead and look at how it was put in. So I'm just going to slide that in, push that forward, down we go, and I'm going to just pop all these back into place. And you can hear them pop as you go, and as you, if you see anything, an area where it's not really pressed down in correctly, you can come back and push this in. I would go around on the edges. You can hear it snap. Um, I wouldn't press on the keys themselves though. And then, after we've got that done, I'll go ahead and put this in. We're going to flip it over, put that screw in, put our battery pack on, and try it again. Okay, so I went online and ordered this at Amazon. Now I did a search for, uh, in a Google search for that HP 15-1233WM uh, and I couldn't find it. In fact, it's not even in the list here. But this came up and it looks identical to the one I have. It's $16, works fine. Uh, it, you have to, this keyboard's going to have to get broken in because it's a little bit difficult to type on. I don't really care for this one as much as the original. So that's uh, easily, guys, how to change out your keyboard. In the meantime, if you got to have the system and it's not working, go down and buy a USB wireless keyboard for 20 bucks, and you'll have that as a backup. And you can just plug it in over on the uh, one of your side ports over here for the USB ports. Okay, hope that helps. I sure had a hard time finding this thing. Bye now.